What's up my beautiful chiquities? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Valeria Alicia. Today I'm doing a get it or forget it video on the NYX new foundation which is the Total Control Drop Foundation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. So I had to get two different shades because unfortunately they do not have one single shade that matches my skin tone. So I got these two right here and these are uh, TCDF 10 and 12. Here is what they look like right here and I will show you right now exactly how I mix these two. So I have my little mixing palette right here which I absolutely love and I'm going to take two drops of each and then mix them together. I think that that is enough foundation and then what I do is I just mix it here on the palette and then after I do that then I'm gonna go ahead and dot it on my face and get started with the application I'm going to build up this foundation just a tiny bit more and I'm going to add just another layer of what I did before so I'm gonna add two drops of each okay so here is that foundation I don't know if you guys can tell the difference I know my light was a little too bright at first but this is what it looks like now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and come back to talk to you guys okay so I finished doing my makeup and this is what it looks like I'm sorry if before the foundation I had too much light going on and you couldn't really see it I apologize for that but this is what it looks like and let me get you a little closer so you can see what it really looks like okay hello pores <laughs> I think this is the closest I've ever been to you guys but this is the foundation I don't know if you guys can see what it looks like um, I do have highlighter bronzer and all of that on but what I can tell you at this moment is that it's a bit drying for my skin I do notice a little areas like around my mouth that um, have dry skin on them uh, it's winter time so you can't avoid that and it just settles right in those spots and I really don't like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day and then come back and tell you guys how I feel about it after a few hours and so on and so forth hello there so it's been two hours since application and let me bring you a little closer so I can show you so it looks really good on camera um, but in person I really don't like that it just doesn't give you that flawless look and um, it looks very patchy and I, I don't know why this camera is just not picking up on that let me see no you can't really see it it looks very flawless and smooth but it's not and I don't I don't know mmm in my forehead especially it just looks very mattified and really dry and it almost looks like I have lines um, and I know it's not because I put too much so I don't I don't know guys um, this might not be a product for me personally but it might be for someone that has oily skin I personally have normal to dry skin especially in this winter my skin is very dry so I don't think this is the, the foundation for me at this time but I'm gonna give it till the end of the day and I'm gonna do one more check-in with you and let you know how I'm liking it or how I'm not liking it well hello there it is my final check-in it is now eight o'clock and this is about a seven hour wear this hair what's going on but let me bring you a little closer I, I want to see if you guys can see hmm I haven't reapplied my lipstick either but I get the feeling you can't really see um final thoughts um I think I think it's a it's more of a velvet finish to dry matte finish and um, I like it but I don't love it so what I'm going to say is if you are oily skinned I think this is definitely a get it but if you have normal to dry skin I would definitely say forget it only because it definitely attaches to your dry spots in your face 
and it just clings to them and it actually oxidizes. Can you guys see the difference now between my face and neck? So that's another thing to keep in mind. But other than that, I think it's a really good foundation. It's just not for my skin type. So that is it for this episode of Get It or Forget It. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will catch you on my next diary entry. Un besote. Bye. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs>